So this is the original colour of the wood. This is the polyurethane varnish that I've stripped off. And this is the dye that I'm applying. So Jacobean dark oak. Let's see where I'm working up to. That one's not been done, neither of these. Looking good. I've got some lint free cloths, but I do find these blue cloths a lot better. I'm only applying the dye. So I've got lint free cloth wet. That's in the bucket of water. That's just if I need to take off any excess dye. These can be a little bit stiff. That's what's going on. And I've got some in a pot. Now really you should pour it on your cloth, but I'm doing spindles. So the handrail's already been done. So I'm just working up to that edge with the die. So I just get it on. And then straight away wipe it out. I'm not going all the way up to underneath the edge of that handrail because I don't want to double up on my stain. I'll come back to that with a dry cloth. Again, just working slightly up to it and just work and rub this out. So on my dry cloth, don't overlap. You'll double up with the dye. Basically that's it. Just don't leave any stain wrapped around the edges. This back edge you may get some dye coming around the edge. So come to this side quickly and again just work it in, soften up the bit of dye that has already gone on and then we can just come back with a cloth coming round this corner and then with your dry cloth with the brush we can take the excess off onto your cloth then where I wait there cutting up to the edge work the dye in and then with a dry cloth and you'll prevent marking down here doubling up any spots or splashes should come out quite well with a damp cloth, lint free of course. 
can see the natural colour of the wood coming through there. Just last little bit along the bottom and we're done. Thank you.